Thank you, Pablo. Now I would like to give the floor to Miguel Angel Simeo, who is going to talk about the management uh, of uh, certificates uh, of uh, energy efficiency in this uh, wonderful uh, 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 city of Lyria. Uh, and uh, uh, when he uh, suggested this, uh, uh, then I said, well, that's a very good idea. And I think the result has, has been very good. Uh, I would like uh, to thank the association, at least uh, briefly. Mm, in order to uh, and, uh, describe uh, my end of grade uh, project uh, and uh, uh, as far as I was born in Lyria I applied this uh, to Lyria I uh, choose uh, the certificate uh, for energy efficiency uh, because uh, that's much in fashion now everybody speaks about energy efficiency and so on and for those of you who doesn't know this uh, certificates are compulsory in uh, all new dwellings uh, since uh, 2007. Uh, so the work uh, uh, was uh, approached in order uh, to do an inspection and management of those certificates I was using. In fact, uh, uh, the the data for Lydia because I focus my work on Lydia, but uh, that can be used uh, uh, in other uh, in other uh, towns. Uh, certificates are compulsory in new buildings uh, since uh, June uh, 2013. Uh, any uh, dwelling is uh, compulsory that uh, the owner facilitates uh, the other person or uh, the buyer, uh, the uh, certificate uh, inefficiency that's uh, done by a qualified uh, uh, technician uh, that goes uh, uh, to uh, the uh, building or uh, the place, uh, the site. Uh, and uh, the certificate indicates uh, up to which extent uh, that uh, building or uh, that uh, site uh, is uh, efficient in terms of energy. Uh, the degree of efficiency is defined by some tables uh, and some uh, letters. Uh, there are seven different colors and seven letters. Uh, the most efficient is A and the last one, and the G. Uh, in uh, the case uh, of uh, uh, the uh, 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 of uh, the the different uh, sites, uh, uh, then uh, this uh, certificate should be inscribed. Uh, 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 in the Valencia Regional Government and the City Council should have a copy of uh, it. Uh, and uh, uh, it is compulsory uh, that uh, the label uh, is uh, shown uh, after uh, uh, July uh, 2015. Uh, the validity of this certificate is uh, 10 years and the certificate should be uh, recorded or registered uh, in the uh, Valencian Institute uh, for Competitividad. Uh, this certificate uh, has uh, four parts, uh, uh, the uh, registered document, uh, the certificate and the label. The label uh, uh, of this qualification, which is a summary, uh, where we have all the values, uh, the most important values of this certificate uh, based on that uh, label. Uh, I uh, did uh, the work uh, uh, together with uh, uh, GVSIC. Certificates are compulsory, and uh, the Valencia Regional uh, Ministry has a law with an inspection plan, which is uh, compulsory after uh, Law 8 uh, 2013. Uh, so uh, there are also fines. Uh, uh, there can be uh, uh, different types uh, of uh, bridge. Uh, so here we have the IVACE. Uh, anybody can have access to this uh, because uh, they provide you with a registry uh, number. As I said, um, uh, the uh, database uh, belongs uh, to the IVACE, and that was my departure point. Uh, and uh, here uh, you have a sampling of uh, uh, Lyria. For those of you who doesn't know, uh, this is uh, north uh, west of uh, the Valencia region, and it uh, has uh, 23,000 inhabitants. The departure information uh, was a base. The base was downloaded from the cadaster 
and the database uh, with the data of the certificates uh, was obtained from the IVAFE. Uh, we created a new project. Uh, we loaded uh, the cadaster uh, layer. I call that uh, parcel uh, layer. And together uh, with uh, the plot uh, layer, there is uh, uh, some information. Uh, we uh, need the cadaster reference, uh, the address, uh, and the uh, policy number uh, of uh, the building. Uh, the IBAFE gave me some information in which uh, I had uh, the register code with the register number, uh, the address, uh, postal code, municipality, the use uh, of uh, the building, which was uh, distinguishing four uses uh, uh, when uh, this is a, a family uh, house, uh, then uh, when it's a building, a complete building, and whenever um, this is uh, a building for tertiary use. Uh, uh, so what we are interested uh, in is uh, the emissions of uh, CO2 uh, kilograms uh, uh, per square meter. Here you have uh, the Ibafe page, uh, which is free, uh, and uh, just with a filter, uh, you can uh, place uh, any uh, place of the Valencia region. You have all the certificates uh, which are recorded in the Ibafe. Uh, based on this, uh, if you tick. Uh, uh, then uh, you will see uh, the um, uh, labels uh, in uh, which uh, you assemble the database uh, with all the information that uh, that label shows. And um, together with the parcel layer and uh, the database uh, which uh, uh, was created uh, in advance, uh, I, uh, I, I uh, was uh, uh, linking both uh, layers in order to be able to do the management uh, after having created this layer. Uh, we started to apply different filters and we could show all the results uh, of, uh, for instance, the type of uh, building, the uh, year uh, of uh, building, which was in the label of uh, uh, the energy certificate. Uh, and. Uh, uh, we uh, could know which was uh, the building year of uh, the different buildings uh, and uh, also uh, well the validity of the certificate is uh, 14 years uh, so uh, this label states uh, uh, when is the expiry date of that certificate uh, and uh, when after uh, a given uh, date uh, when should we, should you come back uh, to uh, carry out uh, that uh, certificate uh, again uh, we were applying uh, different filters and say how many uh, buildings uh, within uh, a building uh, they have the certificate and they belong uh, to the letter A or B or C. We were applying different filters and then we have a map of the city where uh, we have uh, uh, the different buildings. We could also filter uh, based uh, on the typology of the building, which is uh, uh, the thing that I think I have uh, used uh, more frequently in uh, this uh, project. Uh, through the filters, we could do all this data uh, out of uh, GVSIC, uh, um, uh, either DBF uh, or Excel. Here we have another example. Uh, uh, where we have the the plot uh, layer, and after in each uh, uh, plot uh, we have uh, the qualification of the certificate they have uh, on that building, and uh, in the others we have uh, the policy numbers uh, and uh, the streets, uh, street and, and number. Uh, uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, the uh, qualification scale and typology. There was a problem. The problem was uh, that uh, in the cadaster base, uh, the parcel, uh, we had a, a polygonal uh, layer. So uh, when a certificate was identified, uh, uh, the uh, full uh, plot was shaded. But uh, in the same building, we can have uh, different uh, flats, uh, for instance, uh, uh, so we uh, had uh, uh, to uh, state uh, that there were different certificates in the same building or uh, that there is a tertiary uh, use uh, uh, site. Uh, 
So then we had to, to create another layer of uh, uh, dot uh, type in order to know how uh, many certificates, different certificates uh, we had. Uh, here we have a sample uh, with uh, the different uh, color typologies, the different types of certificates uh, that we have. Of course, all this information could be extracted uh, with the attributes uh, table and uh, they could be exported. Uh, but um, I was asking myself, and then this information, uh, do I have it in, in a database? Uh, can I have this uh, summarized? Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, yes, I can. With uh, just one click, uh, establishing a link uh, with a, an image uh, format, uh, a link uh, to the label, uh, then uh, when uh, you click on the information, uh, uh, you have uh, the certificate and on the one hand you have all the information of the qualification uh, level and on the other hand uh, you, you have uh, the numbers uh, uh, and uh, uh, you just uh, have to use uh, a tool which is called Advanced uh, Hyperlink. Certificates uh, uh, have to be updated with UVSIC. Uh, we could update uh, that uh, database uh, and modify uh, uh, that in case uh, that uh, another certificate uh, is done uh, or the qualification of uh, uh, the site. Yes, this can be done. Uh, the way of doing uh, that is uh, using uh, UVSIC uh, as a tool and uh, through uh, the label of uh, certificates uh, uh, we could filter using the cadastre reference we could apply a filter uh, we could uh, open uh, uh, the uh, tool and we could add uh, uh, any information which is uh, inside the field uh, of uh, that plot this uh, modified uh, parcel which has been added uh, uh, to the de database uh, and in the end uh, we could only present uh, those uh, results uh, uh, so it's not the same uh, to present the results in uh, numerical format uh, and then in a uh, map uh, uh, format uh, so uh, then we make uh, some uh, uh, maps uh, of the city so that uh, the so that uh, the visual impact uh, is uh, more powerful i created uh, uh, a template in order to be able to work uh, with the uh, gvc uh, maps uh, and uh, then on this template uh, I could have uh, different views and different types of information about the certificates uh, regarding uh, and the blocks uh, uh, of flats. Uh, here we have a more detailed view of the city and on uh, the other hand we have a series of graphs uh, with all the information although you cannot see that very well uh, regarding uh, the information uh, to uh, uh, that uh, building. Uh, we have uh, the scale of uh, qualification and uh, uh, there is an average uh, uh, in, in the scale that you have uh, uh, the number of uh, each uh, type uh, of dwelling. Uh, regarding uh, the family houses, uh, there are m much more uh, and uh, that was uh, my work. So. Uh, which is uh, uh, the question uh, that you ask? Uh, well, uh, what uh, I want to say is that uh, uh, GVC is there uh, to answer any question you have. Uh, and uh, when Ernesto uh, was telling me about uh, the adoption course, uh, uh, then uh, I loved it. Uh, I saw the possibilities, and based on that, uh, I decided to uh, gather together GV6 uh, with the efficiency certificates. Uh, and that's all uh, by me. Thank you for your attention.